Hey, Fitzy here, back at the game with another one. Finally got the motor on the Mustang. Uh, it was a greasy old, dirty old engine. I'm gonna walk you through now, show you how I degrease an engine, do it on the cheap, and uh, get it all painted up, put in the car. Stick around. So here's the old motor for the Mustang. Uh, everything was the best kind and it ran good and everything, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Uh, one thing I noticed when I pulled it out. And guess what I gotta replace? I gotta order a water pump for this. That's not a good thing. Time to change that now before it paints everything off. Uh, for anybody wondering if it's a uh, 289, I've been told by many four guys, three bolts. Four bolts is 302. So I gotta pull the pull the off it, the mounts off it, and the holly air cleaner off it. This is one, this wasn't on it. This had a chrome package on it. Uh, I was never a lover of that stuff. It's nice when it's new and it's, and it's a lot of work involved in it. Over the last number of years, I got into paint and everything. It was just so much less maintenance. But uh, I picked this up uh, off of 351 that I got for parts. And uh, I'm gonna paint that up and put that on it. And I gotta rebuild this carburetor. Old Holly, I'll get a kit for that. Put that together. I'm after building a scatter one day. This one's a little bit different than most of them. It's a spread bore one, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna pull that off too. I would like to get a like a Q jet or something for it. Not a Q jet, a uh, L brock. That's what I was looking for. I'm, 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 this is what I was after more than anything else. Huh? Electric choke. Or sorry, that's a vacuum secondary. And I want to take. Right there, choke. Yeah, I'm gonna rebuild it. Don't know where the freaking chokes take. Yeah, I'm brilliant, didn't I? And this is, no, it's a regular one. Oh. But that's what I, my plan is. I got a space there, adapter plate to put on it. This carburetor, so I'm gonna put that on as well. But I'm hauling all this apart now because I'm gonna clean all this. Take that out of it. Yeah. Put all that stuff away. Well, I'm gonna strip it down. I have a stock set of top pans to put on it, and I'm painting the intake as an aluminum intake on it, painting all that uh, Ford blue. Uh, she had headers on it, I took them off, put manfolds on it. This car is a driver for Wendy. This is something that I want her to get into. If she wants to go get groceries, she can go get them. If she wants to go for a run anywhere, she can go and get her. This is not a performance car, not a race car, not looking for none of that. Nice little driver, that's all I want to build for her. So, Pull all them off. I got manifolds for it. I got power steering pump. I got a modify to put on it because it's a later one. And of course, there's a C4 transmission. And all, all this was working good. It was a perfect driver. I just took it apart. All I'm going to do is I'm going to clean all this up and uh, paint it all up. Replace top hand gaskets. And, uh, and now I know I got to put a water pump on it. I got to figure out which one I need. And uh, just paint everything up. Put it together put it in the car something tells me i'm going to end up uh waiting on this here and i'm not waiting on this to put a motor in it so uh put the motor in it so i can paint the repaint the front of this after the fact i might go ahead and clean everything up paint everything up when the water pump in comes in i'll bolt it on and then just give it a quick little flick around the front of it to match it all but i can't go leaving that on that i was debating on whether to put one on it and i just hauled it out and check this here no a water pump seized up on it but I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to set everything up here and show you how it cleans engines. This is all I ever use, cleaning engine bays, chassis, anything degreasing anything. It's uh, just an old generic dollar store oven cleaner. I pay $1.50 a can for it. Usually gunks and fancy engine cleaners, $7, $10 a can if you're lucky. Uh, I'll go buy 8 or 10 of them and uh, use them for a little bit of everything. I just spray it on, let it set up. And then uh, hose it off with whatever I got around. I got something else I'm going to show you now because I'm here now. We're, it's pretty wet outside today and it's cold, so I got to do this inside. Most times I would uh, do this entire engine. I'll probably take it out in the yard and clean it up out there, but I got plastic down, trying to save as much of a mess as I can. <laughs> and that never happens. 
but I went ahead, I clogged off any areas where I didn't want to get any any liquids running in, like the exhaust ports, uh, oil galleries, uh, fuel lines, tops of the motor, you know, vents. Didn't mind any water jackets and stuff like that. I pulled off all the hoses and everything off it to get it out of my way. I'm going to leave everything on it, mounts and everything on it for now until I get it all cleaned up. Transmission, same thing. I just taped up the tail shaft and where the dipstick is to. The transmission line's got lines bent over on them, so they're fine. Point, point it down, so, and of course the torque converter's in it, so that's fine. I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to spray all this and uh, start cleaning it up. Be wise to be in a ventilated area. I'll turn the fan on in a minute. Not gonna worry about the top fans because I'm replacing them. Just a regular old local cleaner. If you got an engine in a car and you want to clean up your engine bay. Start your engine up and let it run for a while and get it nice and hot and then apply this to it. It, uh, it helps the, uh, the greasing process. Should have respirator around. You'll let me know that though. There you have it. First one. I'll let that set up for a while now. You can see the way it's all separating and running off it. I'll probably do this a couple of times and clean it all up and get it ready. Because all I'm doing with this is uh, I'm just going to clean it up and paint it up. Um, put new top hand gaskets on it. And like I said, I put a new water pump on it. Oil change. Do normal stuff, right? New plugs, wires, all that type of stuff. But I'm not getting into, i got all the hoses and everything coming in for it. I'm not getting into rebuilding this motor. It was a good running engine. Uh, so it was rebuilt a good number of years ago. It's strong, very strong motor. Transmission, same thing. If it runs into troubles with it, I'll worry about it then. Because it's just too much to be at. It's all working now. I'm not going to make more work for myself. So I got that sprayed and run out. So i got to run out now and get some more oven cleaner. And that was two half cans I had here. So I need more. So... Let that set up and I'll go run and get some more. I went around and I cleaned it once and now I've, I went around and sprayed it again second time. And what I went and did then after I let it sit for a little bit, I went around with an old paintbrush and I rooted it around and rooted it around. There's a lot of grease on this old, uh, old engine. So I ended up having to go around and do that with it. So the <clears throat> thing with I done with this here now, I didn't want to go bring the garden hose in her and drown in the garage. I wanted to try to uh, clean this up without making too big of a mess. I'm gonna make a mess, but that's it. So what I went and did, is I got a bucket of water here, and I got an old primer gun. I'm filling up the old primer gun, and using it like a garden hose, and just spraying it on it. It doesn't go too much water. Two cups of water usually cleans it, uh, cleans it up. And then I can pressure wash it. So that's what I would call a poor man's pressure washer. So now after going over it now twice, I'm going to go over it once more, 
I've uh, got everything has come out really clean. I'm amazed with how clean it came out, considering. The paint is still on for when it was rebuilt. That was an agony. Look, I got some spots back here. I went around in and rode it in all these places here and dug them all out. And I blew the whole engine off with compressed air. Went up and around here and dug these out and cleaned all them up and just scraping it up. They're just trying to loosen up the dirt before I give it another douse and easy off. The oven cleaner. And I've done the same thing with transmission. Cleaned everything up, scraped everything around. I'm pretty well there now. I'll uh, do the same thing. Uh, I'll run it all over with easy off, let it sit for a while, and then I'll just uh, clean it off with the water. That's how much water. That was a full bucket, and I'm after rinsing that motor twice now with the water in that bucket. So, you know, you don't make too much of a mess. A garden hose is gradually flooded. Anyway, give that another spray. Well, I got it all cleaned up, wiped off, and uh, I went over it three times with the easy off, and three times I washed it off. And then after I blew everything off after I had the last one done, I went over it then, I took the spray gun and put a drop of paint thinners in it, and I just went around and uh, washed it all down again. That and the transmission with the drop paint thinners. Uh, I didn't let it soak in, I uh, blew it off all the thinners and everything so I can clean it all up so it's got a nice dry surface to go but uh, you can see how nice and clean I made the intake now. Yeah. back of the block all this is ready for paint now so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull the, mo the mounts off it uh, lower pulley off it uh, haul the distributor out of it I'm going to leave them top pans on it for now just paint around them I got another set of top hands that's going on, it's the original set, and I got new gaskets coming for them, and so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put them on when I get it in the car. I got manifolds I got to paint, but I'm going to get the mounts painted and the pulleys, get everything that I can bolt on the front of it, but I can't go bolting nothing on that yet. It's freed up a bit there now, but I didn't like where that was seized up. So, seems best kinder now. Uh, I'll throw a pump on it anyway to be safe and I got that all cleaned up that's ready to go I'm gonna paint that like a cast aluminum and that's going for blue all right I'm gonna leave that alone and let them set up a bit make sure they're nice and dry and clean up this mess and everything is underneath us everything is all cleaned up it's been a day now I just let it all dry and went around taped up a few things I'm not gonna haul the distributor out of it uh, put a couple nuts and bolts and things and whatever and 
went down, wiped off the bottom side where everything was on the bottom of it, cleaned all that up. So that's ready to be painted. So I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna throw a coat of blue on that. See, it looks like I'm gonna change top pans later. And I'll clean this surface up this in around the bolts and everything. I must clean that all up. Same with the surfaces down here for the exhaust. I'll clean all that up after the fact. No matter if it's a bit of paint on that. So I'll get that painted blue now. There it is, old Ford Blue. This stuff covers real good, that too. She got a fresh rebuild. <laughs> Some of you might have noticed I uh, had aluminum intake on it. I'm painting all that body color uh, or engine color. Uh, I just wanted to make it look original, stock looking. I wasn't like getting into trying to take that up or take it off and paint it. And like this is a driver. We're making a fun car out of this and not getting carried away with it uh like this was a good running motor and a good running transmission when we parked the car and i'm just going to clean it up put it back in the car again some might say well since you got it out you might as well refresh it uh -huh. i doubt that runs into money and we're not made of money so now i'm going to give the in the transmission a rebuild now with a coat of uh aluma blast which is uh an aluminum style uh spray bomb of paint so I'll give that a coat of paint now and freshen that up. So that looks pretty good. So I went ahead, got that all painted up. That looks pretty good there now. It's clean anyway. Got that all straightened away there. I went and uh, tore everything down on that. Two things. Got that all painted. I uh, went ahead, then started cleaning up some parts. I got all the bolts taken out that I need now to start assembling this and painted up everything needs to be painted. And I got some parts over here. I went and got the mounts, transmission cross, remember the dipstick, remember that was broke off. Probably you've seen that hanging. I just welded the end back on it again. It's all brand new. And uh, motor mounts, stuff like that. I went ahead and painted up the starter. Got that done. I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to put this all together. Get it all ready so I can put it down the car. So, get that done now. So, I got it all bolted together. I got the uh, transmissions all mounted. I got the torque converters bolted on. They were, they were all tightened up. All the bolts are around the housing here are all bolted on. Got the start motor bolted on. Uh, went ahead then bolted the dipstick on it and ran the uh, transmission vacuum line I ran that made a new line for that and bent that up and also did the same thing transmission lines I just run them down to here for now I'll either put a connector on them or something on them just to make it easier to get at I'm not familiar with the Fords because this is always an issue with Chev but I think these might be a lot easier to get at than what they would be on a Chev and uh, other than that I turned around and got the mounts put on her and got the engine hoist ready to go. I'm in the process now of putting the wheels back on the Mustang and getting that uh, ready now to put motor and transmission in. So I'll uh, get that straight away now. Got everything set up here, ready now to put the uh, motor and transmission in place for the final time. Uh, I got a buddy of mine, Kevin, who's going to drop by and give me a hand with it tonight. It's uh, always nicer to have two people at like this. 
than just one so I'm gonna clean up a bit here now waiting for him to show up and then me and him are gonna get that motor laid in place so we got it in last night uh, thanks to Kevin for coming out and giving me a hand with it I uh, never got a chance to take no video last night we were too busy gabbing and what that we had a few issues with the motor mounts uh, the previous owner had small 3.8 bolts put in for the mounts and I wanted to put like a 5.8 bolt in there so it was extremely tight and everything had to be just so to get in there so that gives us a bit of trouble other than that everything fit perfect she cleared the uh, few people have asked about the rack and pinion uh, it cleared there was no issues it's tight it rolls right over the top of it I'll show you that there now there's the rack and pinion the clearance on the base pan clearance on the rear the transmission all that's clear Right, so everything clears. It was a bit tight going in through here. Right, there we go. That's better. It was a bit tight going in through here, but uh, lots of clearances. Right, so and then I went over the top of it. There's lots of clearances on the top of it. This here, nothing hits here. None of the lines are touching. None of the lines are touching the start motor. I was, I was expecting that to touch one of the lines, but it's clear as on the line. So all that's best kind. Got transmission mount put in. I gotta put the cables and everything in on this now. And I was a bit concerned about the header, or well, about the steering and the exhaust. If you look here, this is the manifold here, and here's the steering. But I've sized it up and I can go out through here. This is where I'll be going through. I'll be coming out through here with the exhaust. So it's not a real issue. It was originally coming straight through down through here, but I'm just going to put a bit of a bend on it and come up here and cut this tab off here and remove this off transmission. It doesn't seem like it has any other reasoning for being there, just to give me a bit more clearances to come out here with a pipe. Because I'm not putting a big exhaust on this, because it's, like I said, it's only a street car. I'm going to be making all that up. Kevin dropped off the uh, crossover pipe that was on the 351 parts engine that he gave me. Kevin must have this in his garage now, two years, I'd say. And it's the crossover pipe belonged to a 351 Windsor uh, that I'm taking the manifolds off of to put on this here. And I needed these flanges. And now I got pieces of pipe as well. So I'll start with this here. This is all good pipe. It's solid. And I'll start making exhaust from this here. Right? I'm not getting into buying an aftermarket kit or anything like that. I'm going to make everything up for this it's full exhaust. Like I said, this is a cruiser driver. I'm not going to hell with it. Spending lots of money on pieces and parts i'll make up things as i'm going i've made up lots of exhaust over the years so and as you notice also got her up on her stands so we can reel, wheel her around the garage and work on her anyway hope the tips were good and until next time Visitor. Yes, Peanut. Gonna interrupt me in the middle of my video taking again. Yeah, well, I'm forsaken no such a What do you think of it all? Am I doing a good job or what? Huh? Yes, boy. Did we put it in right? Did we put the motor in right? I think. Did we put it in right? Huh? Did we? Hey. Ha, ha, ha.